Well, hello everyone, Dylan here with a kind of random review, and this one's on the Avanco uh, Tahoe and Takua that was recently released, well, as a gift with purchase set, and so now you're probably wondering, well, I kind of did some of that, but at least you can, like, get it, probably get it in other ways by now, well, depending whenever you're watching this video, but yeah. So, anyways. As for the front of the box here, we which have the Lego logo, original Bionicle logo, of course, and picture of this new Tahu in the kind of same position as he was on the original 2001 canister, or of course. Okay. And also the age recognition, 18 and up, although it can work also workable with any age range, but. And set number 40581 has Tahu and Takua and has 219 pieces. Side of which is the original Bonacle logo again. And then top size, uh, actual size of his uh, mask slope, of course. And one side just Jokey Hazard logos, of course. And on the back side, have both Tahu and Takua in nice positioning. The Lego logo set number again. And the two together, and also all the uh, sections laid out, of course, kind of just also like the original 2001 figures, of course, but yeah. So, this box of which, so this box of which, quite nice to look at, and yeah. And on to the instruction manual, which is just the logos and that plain white rendering as we had for LA. Like most previous sets, of course. And then how switching over to uh, paper bags, of course, and this little advertisement, just like as we had with the original uh, Turaga and uh, McTorrin, or original Torn sets, but with these kind of ones for there. And also, like it's kind of just photoshopped with, with that. But at least nice to see all of this return, and also do get the original mask pieces, but just in the original renderings, of course. And on this other page here, do you have a picture of the new Tahu again, and also the like storyline, just in the same pictures as the original sets, well, except for this actual set in one of them. And also do you have this little light up here, which does feature Greg Farty off down there, it says that's written by Greg Farty, but except it's kind of misspelled, of course. But if you are to read it, Read this, pause it right now, and and also the same with these other versions in other languages. Definitely pause and read right now. Now on the back side, nothing. And also all the pieces that come with the set, of course. And then the last steps. And first off, this one small micro build, you could say, which is just a a round tile or plate piece, which, as you can see, does have these gray uh, st uh, stud or square studs on it, and classic egg piece, end of which representing the when uh, top when Makuta was starting to conquer over Matanui, of course. Although, what I think is that this piece should have these which should have been in black, and this piece should have had the uh, face printings on it, of course. Well. But as is quite good, at least it's still kind of workable. But yeah. And so first off, with for one of the two characters in this, do you have Takua the Chronicler, right. oh, which or yet to be known as Takanuba, of course. And as you see, the build which quite similar to all the uh. Original Matoran or Tahunga, of course. With all the. Uh, and even though Takula was, was never an actual one, but, but at least having it here, great for that. And whereas for the feet, kind of similar to those original foot pieces, but however, the building of which, well effective at that, and do have actual articulation in there. To swivel in and outwards and bend all around. And as for these chest kind of area with those gold bar pieces in red, 
and also a little jumper in the center, which what will be used for, which I'll show later. And as for on the back side, which does have this little uh, a curved slope with a hinge on the end of it, but of course representing the backpack that he would always wear. But although, but also to have those long curved slopes used as the arms of it, and also a large round disc piece or plate piece representing the Kanoka disc. But unfortunately, unlike the original sets, they had printings on them, but these would, this one just doesn't. Even though in the uh, online Flash animations, they kind of saw it as just plain black, but still kind of fairer. But also, unlike those original sets, a swivel up and down words, and, for, and also to have, it has for the head build, which does move all the way around since it's on a Mixel ball joint, and also has a clear plate piece on it representing the eye colorings and also this uh, mask build placed on two studs on there uh, which quite nice for that so at least it's acting like an actual mask piece and as for this mask build which made of just a like large cheese slope and curved slope piece with this printing on representing the blue mercari that he always that takua wears so for this build that he is, uh, quite really good. Represents him pretty well. Oh well, and yeah, and that's that it well to Kua. Now onto this one build, which is kind of a stand for Tahu. I like this bottom section that well for the made of of it, some rare various snot bits and also a bright blue kind of bit, probably to go along with Takua uh, building this set, but at least it's still well hidden if you place it above, of course. And also you got those curved slopes around it. And also a couple of open hinge kind of uh, pieces so it's right on there. Probably like for just extra detailing and also I take this off and also you got quite a lot of like key orange as we call it and regular orange but used for like the flowing guapa and also a couple of uh, jagged slopes in translucent orange which is nice to see there and also for this uh, surfboard piece which comprised mostly those like shield pieces that we've been seeing since like like the Force Awakens, Star Wars Force Awakens, Stormtroopers, of course, which it steps onto in a jagged position. And that's, and of course, like with dark brown or dark tan kind of pieces, and also the Nexo Knights shield pieces in that color. Nice to see there. And of course, this, well, this was which representing the like a rock slap that he slides on, that he surfs lava on in the little video, one of the little videos that they did. And what those Technic pin pieces there, which we'll go over later, but yeah. And so now on to the leader of the Toa and the Toa Fire himself, the Toa Tahu, of course. Which, from first glance, does kind of well resemble the original 2001 figure of him. But of course, the only standouts are the light and dark gray Mixel joint pieces and also the arm joint pieces there, of course. And so starting out with the feet, like I always do, which as you see are comprised of mostly the like large long red jagged slopes and a couple of cheese slopes on there, of course. Even though they, which may not be present or accurate to the original figure, but at least they're still kind of workable. Unless if you like, like turn them upside down like that, then it would be a bit better. Even though I'm sure you, a lot of you might will do that yourselves, but yeah. And also, bottom side, you have those a couple of pinholes there for the surfboard, which I'll show later. And whereas for these upper bits, or car rim pieces there, although which are in red, but although I think would have been better in orange for 
better accuracy. And backslide with a couple inverted uh, jagged slopes, which represent the back bits of his legs. And whereas for the upper legs, which do have the hanging brackets in orange and also those like, like uh, gold bar pieces in orange, uh, which nice to see there and well effective. And as for the main body torso piece, although it kind of resembling the original uh, Toamata body pieces there. And of course with this large slope piece representing the lower half of it. And also, and also what this, like, with this little half T-bar piece, obviously representing the, like, the gear function mechanisms in him. And the technic ball joint piece, also like the original version, of course. And whereas for the arms of which, of which asymmetric, also like the original version. And also, if you notice how the, uh, like, hinge kind of pieces in dark, in dark gray. Although I think it would have been better in orange for that, but although dark gray of which is still kind of work, still workable for that. Since, of course, he's a fire character and the dark gray can represent ashes a bit. And as for those, these black bits on here, obviously representing the ball joint bits of the original one. Although I think these could have had some larger assembly bits around it and for that, but yeah. And also, another one of those, like, carved pieces representing one of his hands and also a hinge piece representing the two rods that the original had. And as for the other arm, which kind of similar build to that, but the lower half, which is made of just uh, curved bricks on there and also a clip piece for a hand and also for the flame sword which of course is a classic flame piece although kind of resembling a 2010 Tahu Stars there's flame sword with but it's instead in clear instead of solid of course but although the clear which still workable and as and I'm not sure why you give it a black hilt although I think red hilt would have been better for that and the back around the back of which uh, barely much of anything but not at all a gear piece for that but, but at least but there's an open spot for that which i'll go over later and as for the uh, head bit which also like the takua set in the, this bill this set which on a curved slope piece representing his Kanoe Hao mask. And of course, and if not sure if you can notice it in the camera or if you see in picture, it has a reflective kind of feature or metallic bit to it. And you can like detach it and workable like an actual mask piece. And although from the side of which, just plain uh, gray or plain light gray for that. And also translucent pink. Uh, uh, plate on there and since of course the original figure did have trans pink for the eye bits of course uh, Let me zoom out And so now for, uh, for a comparison to the actual original 2001 figure of him Which as you see quite a lot of bit of similarities like do you have the like a ball joint bit on the chest plate and also the two finger hands and also the sort of similar flame swords for that but whereas what this new version has but the dozen original didn't was bendable elbows and knees even though the uh, original ones kind of didn't for that and of course as for the obviously from the back sides not only gear function with the new version but this original version Oh, which also like the original figures can like turn it and do that. Also, same with the uh, 2015 reboot versions, kind of did. And as you see, the pink uh, eye bits, which kind of similar to that, but at least it's, but there are different kind of color variations, but at least they're still kind of workable. Otherwise, if you can wrap your head around it being a different color variation, well, it's still workable, but yeah. But also to mention that 
There's also a kind of a waist art movement bit to it, which the original version also didn't. And also, with those little bits on there, those black bits on there, probably representing the piston bits on the actual one. But although I think those would be better in red and also sprout out a bit more, but at least, although I'm sure some of you might do that yourself, but yeah. <clears throat> and although the flame swords, which almost as much effective on both of them, and although the flame sword did come included on other sets in like Exo Force and things, but it and that which did have some yellow variation on it to that, even though this would still as workable as that. And of course, just like 2010 uh, Stars version kind of did, but yeah. And so now, so one of the features is that for Takua, remember the little stud that he has on his chest plate, which connects to that, the open stud on there, where you can like detach it, and there he is on his backside. Although this is a perfect homage to the uh, to the 2008 Fantoka Mystica sets with the Avatorans that connect to their backs, obviously. And also the same with the uh, 2016 Uniter Toa and Element Creatures uh, as well, but yeah. And also, for those like Technic bits that are at the bottom of his feet, can attach to the pins on this surfboard. And you need to there. Oh whoops, got any display of it going on. And of course, representing this, the sequence in the Mask of Light movie of when he and Takua are surfing on lava, of course. And he's like, side seat, will ya? Of course. And let me get everything here. And so now, on to the final verdict. Overall, I think this was a, a great set for how it is. Like, you get new exclusive variants of both Tahu and Takua. Well, at least an actual variation of Takua, even though he may not be of what you would always expect of the original Takua figure. Or, I mean, but this is which quite still workable for that. And whereas, although... Some bits of which still great resembling Bionicle in some ways. And although, and of course the uh, pixel ball joint for that, if you can wrap your head around that a bit, still easy to work, good to work with, but for how he is, for the builds of which, I think they of which are very well for that. Of which, good bit resembling the original figures, or original Taku figure, of course. And of course, also, in at least, you get a quite good side build of both Matanui Makuda and the Lava Board, obviously. And of course, you get some things that are well resembling Bonko in some ways. And although, kind of a bummer that the uh, mask pieces aren't like actual mask pieces, but at least they're still quite workable. And so... And... And do I think, and also this, uh, for the figures on hand here, I think these which do, which are workable as a whole new variation of Bionicle itself. But like, imagine, so now, say like, all the figure, all the original figures like this, and also new variations of the uh, Bionicle line. Well, like this, I would say yes to. And anyways. And so now, if you're look, if you're a true hardcore Bonicle fan, and if you're and you're looking to get this set for your collection, anyhow, well, definitely get it. And like the recent fresh hold that there was, or just wait for it to get it off Bricklink or whatever. Although I'm sure for the price for piece of which would probably work out as a simple twenty dollars to around twenty dollars or however, but. But could there be any other uh, promo sets like this? Well, let's see. Yeah, but 
Also, if you're still looking to get this for your collection, also definitely try and get, definitely get it however you can, but yeah. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and long live Bionicle, and thanks for watching.